Hi guys, and I'll be reacting to I am so awkward on Misa from TikTok. Let's get started. I couldn't stop yawning. We were having an orientation program at our school auditorium, but everything was so boring. I put on my earphones and listened to an upbeat song to wake myself up. Soon, I just found myself singing along with it. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, It's better than yours. Yeah, right? It's better than yours. Suddenly, I stopped when I realized that everyone was looking at me like I mercilessly kicked a puppy. Whoa, what did I do now? Just then, my sister Nova pointed to my earphones. And that's when I realized that my voice was louder than intended and unfortunately, it was the prayer time. Oopsie. Hi, my name is Heather, and I'm your awkward main character who always ends up doing the most embarrassing things ever. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. I was walking down the hallway when I noticed a guy smiling at me. He was holding a banner which said that he was asking me to the prom. Holy crispy biscuits, someone actually liked me? I dramatically ran towards him and said, Oh my Romeo, yes, yes, yes! I'm going to the prom with you. But to my surprise, he pushed me away. Ew, not you, weirdo. He was actually asking the girl behind me. Well, that was a little awkward. The girl was Shannon, the principal's daughter who acted like she was the queen of the world. She snatched the banner away from him and tore it in half. How dare you ask me out with that ugly face of yours? The poor guy dashed away with tears. Shannon had been plastering her stupid face all over the school the whole day, trying to get everyone's votes for the prom queen. I even heard her bad-mouthing my sister Nova, her ultimate rival. They had been competing in terms of fame and beauty, while here I was, just trying my best to act as normal as I could. Nova was a year younger than me, but we were in the same grade because, aside from being a goddess, she was also a genius and everyone was just obsessed with her. When I went to the school gym to see her, I was surprised to see all the boys lining up in front of her. Please, Nova, I will do anything. Just go to the prom with me and I'll kiss the ground you walk on. I'll pay you a million dollars and give you my private island. But Nova was too busy to care. On the other hand, no one had asked me out yet. Maybe I needed to step up my game this time. Later that night, I decided to practice my social interactions. So I chose my bookshelf to pretend as my boyfriend. While I was kissing it, I caught someone watching me through the bedroom window across mine. Wait a minute, was that Enzo? He used to be my grumpy neighbor when we were kids, but they moved out 10 years ago and no one had lived in their house since then. I was about to say hi to him, but he raised a banner to give me a message before closing off his window. Rude. During dinner, mom told us that Enzo's dad decided to continue their business here, so they were staying here permanently. She also added that Enzo was joining her school too, and it made me excited. 